Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being any being here anymore. Bye. Okay. Hey, hey wait. Damn it. His voice is very unnerving. Okay. Looks like it's night time, and we all promise we won't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try to get some sleep. Um, we we'll still, uh, mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. Uh, it's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. Uh, it was a, as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or, like, some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, it feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Okay. Uh, so this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Uh, would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize this was all a dream? It, um, it's, uh, kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that, actually. That'd be the best. I mean, yeah, at this point, you'd kind of want to know it was a dream. Want to come to theater? In any normal school, uh, Mr. Uh, Monaco would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Uh, remember that you're all students of Hope's Academy and strive to refine your ideals. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming that goes off at the... 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Okay. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! That's nine hours of sleep. That's pretty good. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Way better than I get, at least. Okay. Um, apparently it's morning, but thanks to total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyways, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out where to go from here together? She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. Uh, with newfound determination, I left my room. Yo, you. Good morning, Makoto. G good morning. Yes, uh, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energized way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure to both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's go to Saika's room. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Saika. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Listen, I have a favor to ask. Okay? Wait, whoops. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out, if that's okay. Would you, uh, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Uh, sure, where are you heading? Um, uh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here uh, could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here? Uh, whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other? Whoever put us in this insane position? She's right. We never know when they might attack. Don't worry about it, it'll be the other students you have to worry about. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff, maybe. Yeah, wasn't there like a sword in it or something? Oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Again? Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to protect? Anyways, we should head to the gym. For anyone who hates walking around the school, we've got some news. You can teleport using map section of handbook menu... Simple as opening map and menu and choosing where you want to go, however you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside walls, there's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, well. Hey, um... 
I'm going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. Good, let's get moving. Okay. You're, like, really tall. Either that or I'm just, like, really short. Wait a second. Yeah, my eyes literally, like, come up to people's belly buttons. That's interesting. Camera angle. Maybe I'm Monokuma. Okay. Anyways, uh... How do I get to places? Uh... Dining... Oh. How do I get to places? I'm trying to find the exit to this area, but the only thing I see is this, and it's blocked off. Oh, wait, no, it's not blocked off. Just a closed gate. You can, in fact, open it. Yeah, I recognize this place. Okay, so we're going back down to the gym. Hey, how are you doing? Taco, together with those other two, quite a combination. What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking about the way you three make a pretty unique team. Well, let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with those two people who have muscles uh, where the brain should be is not by choice. Whoa, that was super mean. Yesterday you were complaining about how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never asked you to do that. S stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she ran off. You think we should go after her? We shouldn't pressure her any further. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, they're like water and oil. Anyway, um, it'd be weird if they did get along. Okay, so you two, um, I'm just gonna go place, wait. What's this place? Is this the right place? I just kind of, oh wait, this is the entry play. Okay, so yeah, you two become friends, I think. What do you want? Uh, man, what the hell is up with this metal hatch thingy? It's really on there, that's for damn sure. Anyways, there's nothing to do around here. I'm gonna friggin' die of boredom. Um, and being stuck in here is keeping me from racing towards my dream, too. Your dream? Yeah, I've come a musician. You can sense my aura, right? With the strongest vocals of the entire century right here. Uh, God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. Dreams. Did you say something? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Okay. Don't really care about Mondo. Yes, leave the area. Blah, my throat's getting blah again. No, I need to get to the murder. I forget actually when the murder happens. I think it's second day, maybe? Okay. Hey, um... Here we go, I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Okay, well, there's a sword. This is a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely c covered in gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and that gold stuff got all over my hands. Okay, remember that. Gold stuff all over the hands. Okay, so what we have to remember is... Only the girls' dorms have locks on their bathrooms. My bathroom has a weird lock. And the sword gets gold dust everywhere. Is that the only things we have to remember? Probably. Wow, you're right, your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? But I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should probably wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hmm, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. Um, if I've got you by my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Psycho giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Okay. Okay. Do I get a thing just for looking at cameras? Nope. Um, okay, the TV, can I look at the display case anymore? Gold statue of Buddha, uh, why is something like that on display? Okay, it's like a samurai helmet, it's a helmet of some sort. Okay, why is something like that on display? I don't understand what those coins are, someone tell me what the coins are in the comments. Um, plaque. 
guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. Oh, read the plaque. Probably figure out what it is. Some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. There are all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Okay, any reason to look? What the? Oh no, that's just the top. Okay. Um. Okay, nothing there. Okay. So, talk to you. Um. Uh, I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Uh, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me, you've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Okay. Uh, well, what about you, Saika? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked, uh, really late at night. I was always home alone. And I was just a kid, you know, I was, so I was really lonely. But all that changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. Um, I decided that's what I wanted to do someday. I wanted to uh, give that kind of encouragement to others. Eventually, that became my dream. You, Well, I mean, th there's been this whole thing about like how calming your smile is, so like... That's amazing, though. You were actually able to fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. Uh, I I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you keep chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. Uh, but to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. Even sometimes it's a bad dream. Um, to make your dreams a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is that really tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? I enjoy every single day, or I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Um, everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were all young, so they're like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. Uh, to work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Uh, then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. S Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. That's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka... I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can't understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped in here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. Uh, and that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I kind of killed the mood, huh? N no, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I'm, uh... I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. 
But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Okay, well that was interesting. Sayaka has some deep down issues. Ugh. This game really hurts my throat, like a lot. And this is empty, so... I am going to go get another one, because they are, are literally, literally right over here. Ow! My foot got caught under my wheel. Okay. Um, peach nectarine. Please don't explode, please don't explode. Okay. Jeez, pe peach nectarine has a weird smell. Okay. Well, ah, that's that. Um, anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have the sword now. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Um, yes. As you live out uh, your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendship. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from your Mono Mono machine, machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness uh, intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. Uh, we strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk to classmates, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, uh, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. Uh, if you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, uh, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss uh, Sayaka uh, uh, Maizono? She's the ideal partner with to begin with, don't you think? It seems kind of suspicious that you tell me to spend time with her. Or whatever. I'll go look at the sword. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. Okay, yeah. Let's go out. Yes. Nothing really new in the room. Um, I mean, it said to talk to Sayaka, but... Chihiro's adorable. Okay, I'll talk to uh, Chihiro afterwards. I guess I should press the doorbell. Bing bong! You know, Makoto? Uh, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm? Should I talk to Saika for a while? Uh, spend time with Saika. Sure, why not? Are you going to try to cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Saika. Saika and I grew a little closer today. Can you give Saika a present? Uh, I don't have a present. So, not really, no. Makoto? Uh, do you, do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? W what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... Uh, it's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. Um, I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. Uh, I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. R really? That was so adorable. I was like, ah! <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? Uh, I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All throughout middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity, I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? I keep seeing my phone go off, but it's face down. That's weird. Huh. Gotta love visual hallucinations. Uh, want to talk to me? Uh, but since I always ended- But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regret regrets, not regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, huge bird wandered into the school pond? 
Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like, um, it uh, was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle, the turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. What? A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. It might have been. Uh, I don't. Uh, I mean, well. It says a huge bird, so it's not a sparrow. A sparrow is really tiny. Like, a sparrow is really small. A crane is. decently big. I think a heron is the biggest, isn't it? A heron? It was a heron, wasn't it? No, not quite. It was similar, but even bigger than that. Okay, heron, but bigger. Definitely have to be. Which bird wandered upon? Uh, first year of junior high. I think it might have been. Okay, then it was a crane, because sparrows are tiny. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right, that's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. Uh, but, uh, you let it into the forest behind the school. You hoped to find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at the school. They made me do it. You, you should have, uh, um, I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? Hi. I'm that crane, you see. Uh, I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. He <laughs> he, <laughs> just kidding. He yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you. Even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Uh, yeah, if we've met again at a train station somewhere... Uh, yeah, if we met again somewhere at a train station downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. Uh, I'm sure you'll help me find a way out. Uh, just like that crane, you s you'll save me. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. Um, if there is if there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of her the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Uh I was glad to feel that way. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on her experience with her. Uh, skill, melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. What does this skill do? Once we're all done, head back to my room for a little while. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime already? Jeez. Okay. Today's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear. Okay. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had uh, um, um, I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't... F I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her... No, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Okay. Okay, so Monokuma Theater happens every night, I guess. Ahem, so, I'm sure that you've noticed that killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our new students, already filled with despair, uh, still have some hope of escape. So, when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Sure, Monica. Get ready to greet another beat! My phone vibrated. 